Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad exponential problem and here we have 256 to the power of n is equals to 1 over n and here uh, we find the value of n in this problem. So uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we uh, just remove this variable n in the left hand side uh, so that here we just take the nth root on both of the sides. So uh, when we take nth root on both of the sides, it will be written as 256 and its whole power n and its nth root in this way. And similarly, in the right hand side, we have the nth root in this form. So now in the next step, you see here uh, by using the exponential law, so this exponent is uh, cancelled out by this exponent. And in the left hand side, we have 256 is equals to 1 over n and its whole power 1 over n. So here uh, we need to find the prime factors of 256 and you know about the method to find the prime factors. So we just find these factors in this way. So here first we divide it by 2 and we obtain 2 1 the 2 and we just get here 2 2 the 4 so here you carry 1 and 2 8 the 16 and after that uh, we again divide it by 2 and we get 2 6 the 12 and 2 4 the 8 and again we divide it by 2 and you get 2 3 the 6 2 2 the 4 and we again divide it by 2 and you get 2 1 the 2 and we carry 1 and 2 6 the 12 and 2 8 the 16 and 2 4 the 8 so 2 2 the 4 and finally we have 2 1 the 2 so here we write this 256 is equals to so uh, you see here uh, we have some pairs of 2 so we can just write these pairs so here you have 4 pairs of 2 so we write this 2 times of 2 is 4 multiplied by this 2 times of 2 is 4 multiplied by 2 times of 2 is 4 and 2 times of 2 is 4 so we have 4 pairs of 2 so we write these all pairs in this form so because these are 4 4 multiplied by 4 times so we write this term as 4 to the power of 4 so now here we just replace this 256 equals to 4 to the power of 4 so our above equation will be written as uh, 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 1 over n and its whole power 1 over n. So now here uh, we, uh, we will just use the nice uh, important fact uh, in order to find the value of this n. So this fact is just stated as uh, if you have some x to the power of x, it is equals to is equals to n to the power of n, and if our this n is greater than or equals to one, then uh, this equation is implies that x is equals to n. So here we use this nice important fact in order to find the value of n in the above equation uh, so that uh, our above equation after applying this fact is written as so we just equate its exponents and we get here 4 equals to 1 over n so that here you easily get the value of n is equals to 1 over 4 so this is the our final answer of this question and now uh, we check uh, this value of n is this value of n is satisfied our given question statement or not so that uh, to check this value first we uh, copy down the given question statement and the given question statement is 256 and its whole power n is equals to 1 over n and now in the next step we just put the value of n on both of the sides so uh, this will be written as 256 and its whole power n and our n is equals to 1 over 4 and this is equals to 1 over n and n is equals to 1 over 4 so here uh, in the upside you see here we have our 256 
uh, is equals to 4 to the power of 4 so that we use um, this fact here so uh, we know that 256 equals to 4 to the power of 4 <coughs> and its whole power 1 over 4 so here we just reciprocal this term and when we reciprocal the denominator it will become here 4 so this exponent 4 is cancelled out by this exponent 4 uh, and this equation is implies that 4 is equals to 4 so this shows that the value of n equals to 1 over 4 is satisfied the uh, this given question statement and this shows that n equals to 1 over 4 be the final solution of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos